welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about toys you could offer to your smaller birds i have basil joining me um i would consider finches budgies parallettes lovebirds even cockatiels certain conures smaller on the smaller end i mean conures and cockatiels are a bit more larger but you know they're still very small in comparison to a macaw or a gray so i'm just gonna show you guys toys that i suggest for your smaller species they don't get represented as much so i do think this would be a great video um so yeah let's begin i do want to start off by saying that i suggest that roughly around 80 percent of your toys are shreddable or very soft wood simply because birds really thrive with toys that they could play with so you know miscellaneous toys or hardwood toys are a great option but i wouldn't suggest you fill your whole cage with those type of toys another thing is i know some people are going to ask me hey my bird doesn't play with this type of toy what should i do if it's very hard they might not like it so they might not play with it sometimes it's better starting with smaller toys and then moving your way up to larger toys because if you all of a sudden have a very big toy inside your cage your bird might be scared also Another option you have is kind of acclimating them to that type of toy. I know some birds are very free, uh, fearful. Even if it's like a similar size but one toy is red and the other one's like a neon blue. Your bird might be scared if you just get this very bright blue toy and just shove it in, you know, shove it inside their cage. So just slowly introduce different types of toys. But if you do find that they're not playing with it, it's just a nice thing to do to change it up. Um, I also suggest if your bird is not disabled to change up the cage, um, the toys at least once a week even if that means just rotating it within the cage because I know some people don't have a huge collection that is fine but at least kind of rotating it inside the cage um, it's, it's a very nice habit to get into so let's get started let me show you guys the toys I think are great options so the first type of toy I want to show is these type of toys basically what you do you hang them on the side of the wall and I think these are great you could get this what was it called seamass seagrass i think it's called seagrass i could be completely wrong by the way um i should be very good with toy parts but like i'm just being honest i could be wrong um and i've seen other animals play with these as well like i've seen rabbits actually have them inside their cage as well um and what you could do is you could get them individually or you could have them already set up smaller birds actually really like this so typically i put it on the side and i'll either have a flat perch at the bottom or I'll just have a regular perch and they seem to really enjoy this. So another great option is a toy like this. It's just the same concept but it's a DIY toy. I actually use foam. Foam is safe. A lot of people will ask me this. It is safe but make sure it's craft foam. Not all foam is safe. Industrial foam is not safe. Craft foam most of the time they are safe but you have to contact your supplier. So the ones I get are from dollar store. I did contact them. It is safe. And another one I get like it's a huge, um, it, it, it just comes with a variety of colors. And I did email um, Michael about it and it is also safe. So I do use that on my birds and they really enjoyed it. So yeah, this is also a great option if you want to make it yourself. Another great option is larger toys. Um, this is kind of like a tunnel shape so yeah your birds could actually go in these are great toys by the way um, I don't know like some people just have this idea that because your bird is smaller you have to get all the toys small I don't agree with that small birds actually really enjoy larger toys just make sure that if your bird is a bit more skittish with toys that they are acclimated to different types of toys different textures also different colors something people don't often talk about some birds may not be familiar with all the colors like i said a lot of the toys i see come in red and yellows and oranges but not every bird is familiar with certain colors like blues or very neon pinks and purples so even the color might scare them so just make sure if you are going to get a bigger toy that you know they are acclimated and if you are going to you know offer a bigger toy make sure it has you know parts and bits that are kind of chewable i i know you guys could see that this is hardwood flower and it's just a small part a lot of toys they come with like a different mix of different stuff so it's fine they probably won't really touch the flower parts maybe blossom or kiwi but it's fine it's just it looks pretty and most likely i will utilize it and make a different toy out of it but yeah these are also great options and 
I'm sure they'll love it. Um, they seem to enjoy acrylic toys a lot. I will say my only bird that's not too crazy about it would probably be Blossom. So like I said, because my birds share cages, I try making sure that they all meet their needs. But my budgies, they love this. I think Finches will also love these toys. Parallettes, uh, Lovebirds. And I have pretty much a whole big box of just acrylic toys now i've seen a lot of small bird owners just putting acrylic toys guys that's actually there's dust somewhere over here that's actually not enough you really want to put different types of toys in fact maybe just one or two acrylic toys is more than enough you don't need to put your whole cage filled with acrylic toys they are good and they do make like these sounds but they're just not enough to keep your bird I would say happy because you really want something that they could actually chew and tear apart where acrylic toys they're very long lasting and it's very hard to break them um but yeah i mean they're great toys but on their own i i wouldn't suggest it in fact on their own probably just chewable toys i think it's great option but like hardwood toys acrylic toys on their own i wouldn't really suggest it but they are great options i actually really like them so another toy i want to talk about is this um it kind of looks rough but that is okay because toys are not meant to look very pretty anyway it's best if they don't look too pretty it's a lot better but anyway i tried picking toys out for you guys that are not too chewed up so i could really show it but so this is one toy that is quite literally chewed up a bit um this toy is a hardwood toy now hardwood toys are great but i wouldn't fill my whole cage with hardwood now with smaller species it would depend because as you can see I do have smaller birds and they did still end up chewing it but you see a lot of the rope being chewed and just maybe the first two wood. This is probably pine wood and then they have one of these circular things at the bottom. So it is a great option, just probably wouldn't put my whole cage with hardwood toys. Sometimes some birds just, they just kind of get bored when they can't really chew it apart. So they're great options, just probably have a couple in your collection, maybe add one or two here and there. but yeah i wouldn't really fill my whole cage that being said i do want to talk a little bit about bells bells are great but you really have to be careful about them because they have this little thing inside i forgot what they're called like this little ring and i have heard some people actually get their birds toes stuck in there so you know i know some people that are completely not comfortable with it they will actually remove any kind of bells from their toys and you know that's fair enough if you are concerned a toy part is going to be dangerous for your bird it's always best to remove it. With that being said, no toy is 100% safe. Birds are very mischievous and the very safest thing, they'll end up, they'll just end up making it not so safe. This goes with the same concept with the foam toy. It is safe for your birds, but if your bird starts ingesting it, that's just a no-no. And that's like with any toy, if you find that your birds are eating it, you don't use it. <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's gonna be a big problem. So another option of toys I want to show you guys is DIY toys. I don't know for some reason, but I don't find that a lot of people make their own toys and I don't know why. Like, you can make it for a lot cheaper and sometimes, to be honest, DIY toys are a lot better than the toys you get from the parish shops. I mean, it's like 15 bucks. I live in Canada, but they could be like 15 bucks and you could get the same supplies, like hundreds of them, and you could make more than 15 toys and they're probably gonna be end up just being just as good if not even better so if you can actually make diy toys you could even use like eight cartons and stuff these are just the ones i made this is again i used foam and i forget what these are called i always forget it people always ask me like coconut stuff was it something like that the, the ones i have they're color dyed um i prefer the color dyed ones i also have the very undyed one there's only natural one and color dyed ones. This is also another toy I have. This is vine. Um, and then the toys on top, they're actually balsa wood, but you could also get pine wood. Again, I'm not against hardwood, but if you are going to use hardwood, using it a mix with shreddable toys and hardwood is also a great option. So as you can see, these are kind of DIY toys, but a mix of different types of textures, which are great options, to be honest. If you can, make your own toys. Um, another great option is toys like this. I'm just gonna call it a kebab. There's different types. Honestly, I could show you different types. They come with different hardiness, if that makes any sense. I've seen different kebabs. My birds love kebabs. They're great. They 
pretty much last a day i'm quite serious my kebabs never made it more than a day so i paid 10 bucks i live in canada and then that's about it it just it never lasts um, but these are great options they they do last a bit longer and as you can see they're quite chewed up especially over here um yeah they love this now another toy option is this this is mainly plastic with a few rope pieces at the bottom and i kind of want to talk about both of it i pretty much just pulled one out the problem with this is imagine that rope this tiny rope kind of gets around their nails and this isn't something shreddable so your bird might they might have an issue i think people think they're shreddable but they're not like natural plastic isn't natural so it, it is a bit of a risk and it is a bit of a concern i would kind of stay away from them this is why i actually showed it i didn't even know it. i have so many toys it was just laying down i'm like oh let me talk about it so i don't really use it my birds did use it so they did like it i'm not gonna try talking bad about a toy knowing that they did like it it's just that I don't offer it anymore. I don't give it to them. I don't have a lot of plastic toys or nothing similar to this. This type of plastic, I wouldn't really suggest. It is a bit of a risk. I'm not too mad about the straws. I know so many people use it. It's just that they're so tiny. You don't know if they're really eating it or not. And I've seen birds eat plastic. It's kind of crazy. We've even seen wild birds eat it. It's not great for the environment anyway, but that's for a different video maybe um and as for rope again this is my two cents on it i'm not against it but there can't there's so many dust here bro <laughs> i'm not against rope but with that being said they can be a hazard so i've heard so many cases of birds getting their toes stuck and as you can see this one's unwinding this is just bad like <laughs> this is just bad look at it you know it's if, if it unwinds, if they get their toes stuck there and then, oh, it's so bad. Like, birds would actually mutilate their own body parts just to be free. And I've heard many horror stories. Do I think it's worth it? No. Am I too upset that some people use it? No, not really. Some birds actually really like it. I just wouldn't really take the risk, to be completely honest. What are you doing, buddy? Um, I wouldn't really take the risk, to be honest. If you can, there's other great options. To be honest, rope toys don't look that pretty anyway. Um, that's just my two cents on it. They don't really look that pretty. So, I mean, if you can, just maybe pass out on it. Like, just get something different. So, another toy I want to show you guys is this tiny toy. And yes, you guessed it. I'm going to show you guys a small, shreddable toy. This is great. My boys actually love... Um, this toy i've had it i bought it so many times i probably spent more than 30 bucks just continuously getting this toy what happens is that they'll chew it up so much and then i'll throw it obviously and then i'll get it again now you guessed it this is very cheap it's like two bucks three bucks maybe in different areas it might have a different price point but in my area it's very cheap so i always grab one whenever you know i have um, you know i see them in stock in my local pet stores and stuff they're great options so if your bird does like it um, don't pass out on smaller toys. They're also great options, obviously. Finches really like this. I think finches adore it. Um, you know, budgies also adore it. Maybe cockatiels. Depends. Not so much maybe, but like budgies and finches really like these. Now, another toy I want to show you guys is shreddable toys. And this is going to depend on species. So, this is an example I have. So, a shreddable toy for a macaw is going to be very different than a shreddable toy for smaller species. The toy you see in the middle is balsa wood. It's very soft wood, so they can easily shred it. This is why it's called shreddable toy. There's different kinds. I know I have so many different kinds. I wanted to see if I should show you guys different types, but I think this will do. So basically, they could play with all the parts. They could tear it all apart. And it's all in all, it's a great toy. You do have some hardwood beads over here, but that's just to hold the toy in place. But these are the type of toys you really want to have inside your cage and a lot of them. So I would suggest you guys have like close to 70 to 80% of your cage toys shreddable. Because they are the type of toys that most of your birds are going to really enjoy. They're going to really enjoy shredding them. So if you can, you know, at least make it at least 60% of your toys be shreddable. They're very great options and, you know, your birds are going to really be grateful for it. So this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.
Thank you.